Alright, we've seen the two-fisted beat-em-up block, but sometimes a man's just gotta switch gears to a game about a little yellow bird hopping around. This is the New Zealand story. It's a platformer by Taito. The story is that uh, Kiki, the kiwi bird, and his friends are just hanging out when an evil leopard seal comes and kidnaps all of them. This run is going to have a lot of warp zones. You might be wondering, how long will it be until we get to the first warp zone? And the answer is about 10 seconds. First one is just going to take us partway through the first level. The full route is a lot longer, so we're going to do the uh, easier, shorter, more entertaining route. Over here on the right, we'll hop up and get a couple letters. If you spell out the whole word extend, you get an extra life. We'll get a couple of those during the run. We saved our first, our first Kiwi friend. We're going to hijack a bunch of vehicles during the game. Grand Theft Auto New Zealand Edition. The, uh, the goose, goose balloons that those guys fly are the second best uh, thing we're going to get. There's also a UFO that we get for about 10 seconds that's awesome. I think one of the developers just went on vacation to New Zealand and came back and just said, hey everybody, we gotta make a game about this place, it's super cool. Like, we'll go through a level based on the Waitomo Caves, that's an actual place where you can uh, float around and see glowworms against the darkness. We have an oxygenometer at the bottom left, we're gonna refill for a little bit while Mr. Tentacle Monster waves around. And we're gonna jump up. You cannot drop through floors, but you can jump through ceilings. Kind of like Bubble Bottle in that way. That'll, that'll enter into a lot of the routing. This is also like Bubble Bobble in that uh, the main theme is super cute and super happy. And here's Great Thing! Not really Great Thing, that's just a callback to day one of the marathon. And we're gonna go into Lord Jabu Jabu's belly and look for Pinocchio. This is close quarters, so it's a little bit hectic, but we're, we're good, we're through. And that's the first of five worlds. It goes fast with warps. This game features a lot of power-ups. We're probably not gonna see like half of them. A lot of them are rare. The fruit is just points, but you can also get all sorts of other stuff. You can already see uh, our buddy up there, who we're gonna try and save, or possibly just warp past. All right, we need to leave, leave a little bit of timing here. A couple more extend letters. All right, now we're in the UFO. This is OP. It's the best vehicle of all, so we'll enjoy the short time we have to fly around in it. Hop out over here. Now this guy is a jerk. He likes to throw a rock through the wall. See, look at that! Someone report him. We'll fly down here and we'll keep our goose balloon the whole way, because we got more warp zones to get to. Alright, kill off these guys. Oh, let's get this. That freezes time for a couple seconds. That's one of the cool power-ups. We're actually gonna squeeze through there! Get in there! Get in there! Alright. Don't worry, we'll come back for you later! Alright, if everybody in chat wants to send your, uh, your thoughts and prayers to that Kiwi, if you uh, change your profile picture on Facebook too, I think that'll help. Now, in this room, you know how there's a dream within a dream in uh, Inception? On this level we have a warp zone within a warp zone. There's a sign there saying to go down, but we're not going to take the intended route. We're just going to take yet another hidden warp. And we're going to beat up on some, some lizards. Throughout the game, you've got signage telling you where to go which I get a kick out of. It's like the 
the game designers are on your side. It's sort of like Dungeon Man from Earthbound. We're gonna go for another swim here. That guy at the bottom, he looks happy, but he will kill you if you go close to him. We're gonna keep our distance. Come around up here and uh, try and commandeer this vehicle. Oh man, I don't want that balloon. Oh, the chaos. All right. He will follow the signs and go up and right. This is a maze game and it has a time limit. This is the first level where the time limit really comes into play, especially if you don't take the warp. All right, hold your breath, chat. Keep holding. Keep holding, we're kicking our feet. Keep holding! Flapping from low air! <sighs> Alright, we refill until we get up to the F. Yeah, the full route has a couple of uh, underwater levels that drag on a little bit, but look at how cute he is. This game is cute, but it's, uh, it's also not afraid to murder your face. Here we get our second extend. We'll get two word extends, word spelling extends, and uh, there's also score-based extends. Over here, we're gonna deal with this cat, and then we also have to worry about Gentleman Hedgehog. He looks very dapper in his top hat, but he wants to kill us. We're gonna sneak out to the left. There we go. In the background art, we have some people going over the falls, having a blast. And we're going to get situated for this boss battle. Oh, the mashing! There we go, we're good. Now in Wellington, we see the world's tallest car dealerships behind us selling cars, cars, cars. And we go on another trip. Don't let those guys shoot you. They will pop your balloons. Now we go up to this corner. You guessed it, it's warp zones. I like these little in-between levels. There's, there's really nothing here. It's just a little room you go on your way from point A to point B. Oh man! So this is where the difficulty picks up a little bit. We're at a pirate ship. You can see that they were having a sale at the spike store, and they stocked up on spikes. It looks a little bit like a, uh, a level out of I Wanna Be The Guy. We've got our, our metal thing here, so they can't, they can't break our, our vehicle. We're gonna go up here. It's a little bit more like a puzzle than a platformer. You have to know where things are spawning from to approach each jump. It's more about the routing than the execution, although it's also about the execution. That book back there is a screen clearing bomb when we pick it up, which is handy, but not worth making a side trip for. All right, so now we need that guy to respawn again so we can steal his goose balloon. Look at that happy rock up there. That thing will jump up and grab onto your vehicle and try and drag you down with it. All right, a couple more seconds, and we should have our goose balloon. Any minute now. If you get right under him, he'll throw his rock to the side and not hit you. The bomb there is a uh, special weapon that is situationally useful. It doesn't go very far, it goes in a downward arc, uh, but it can blow up through walls. Your, uh, your power-ups reset every time you go into another another room, which is often good and sometimes bad. One more warp zone. We'll get a couple letters, which is not, not important because we're not going to be able to fill out the word, but we're showing off warp zones. Your super cat is going to cause trouble if we let him. And now we come to chaos part of the run. Oh, that's a good time to get a uh, 
stopwatch. Yeah, the uh, one of the guys who goaltends there just didn't get to show up for work today because we had the stopwatch active. So we have spikes on top of spikes on top of spikes. We're gonna go over here and bait those guys to uh, hopefully not kill us. Oh man. You gotta use a really light jump right there or you'll just jump up into the spikes. Spikes are the theme of this level. Spikes, spikes, spikes. And we're in. All right, it's time for Hammer Springs. Hammer time. This is the classic lava style level, which means that there is gonna be an ice level because that's how platformers work. The rhythmic volcano eruptions are mostly easy. Although it gets a little bit more hectic up here. That background art does not look friendly. Oh yeah! Alright, so we'll jump down here. I'm going to show off something not very useful. If you mash the jump button, you can hover and even gain a little bit of height. The only time that's really useful is uh, there's a heaven secret level. You die to a projectile in the late game. Your game doesn't end. You go to a heaven level where uh, you can find your way to a picture of a goddess where you get a bad end because your friends are still captured. And if you go to find the secret exit out of heaven, you can jailbreak out of heaven and get back into the regular game. I love the fact that there's all these crazy bonus things in this game. Like they didn't they could have stopped making this game a lot earlier and added like five fewer power-ups. They didn't need to add heaven. It was made with love. Alright, this level is the maziest of all the maze levels. If you're playing this casually, you're almost certainly going to run out of time and have the little out-of-time devil come chasing after you. If you know the route, it's just kind of a pop quiz to see if you remember it. We'll beat up these guys. We'll run toward this guy. Check out the MC Escher art in the background there. While we're wandering through this maze, quick uh, thank you to Paskey for being uh, the, the ringmaster of this whole circus. It's been an awesome, awesome marathon. Now we're going to go all the way down to the very, very, very left corner. We picked up that um, magic wand, which gives us a different weapon. We didn't really want it, but we'll take it. Heckle and Jekyll here have a habit of messing up my runs, but not when I can kill them through the wall. So again, lots of jumping up through the ceiling, so the route depends on figuring out where to do that. The music is incessantly happy, and it might get stuck in your head by the end of the run. Da 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 Right. There's our kiwi friend who we need to save. One of the fruits that drops is a kiwi fruit, so you can actually have a kiwi eating a kiwi. But good, we stay up here, and then drop down. Alright, we're in the home stretch. 5-3 is a maze, as you can see from the clearly posted signage saying, Maze. This is a fun level because once you get underway, it moves really fast and fluidly. We'll take out Gentleman uh, Hedgehog.
Do a drive by on that guy. Take out some bats. Down to the cat. And up to the exit. That's uh that level's not that easy the first time you get to it. Alright, check out, we're in the Mount Cook finale. Here we f face the true final boss, Ice Physics. But no, seriously, we face the uh, Leopard Seal final boss. That sheep down there, that sheep likes to end runs. His, uh, his cannonballs are random. Sometimes they'll, they'll just explode, and sometimes they'll send out shrapnel in a couple directions, and sometimes they'll send out shrapnel everywhere. So we even have the background art there saying slip. Not the intended route. I'm supposed to be up there. There we go. Little breather. Alright, now I want to hop up right here and bait these guys. Oh, just a little too far. Yep, that's a mean checkpoint. We're all the way back down here. Oh, the sheep! The sheep wants to be the hero. I can't call that Marathon Lock, though, because he's done that before. Go for a little joyride. All right, we go up, and then we go to the left. And keep going. Don't stop. Don't look back. And hop up on this little ledge. We can just hang out and mash. Closer. Go in. Here is nature's zoological gardens in North Island. Two Kiwis called Tiki and Fifi live together with many fellows. The Smurfette situation with one girl Kiwi. One day Fifi and other fellows are carried off by a leopard seal who came from the Antarctic Ocean. It's the world! The leopard seal is selling keys in various places. Tiki goes on a fucking rampage to help Fifi and other fellows out of the dangerous places. Now the English. You should know well the story after this because you would make the story after this by yourself. And they go for a little stroll. We've got a pet house, toy shop, Sabo for Saboten. Notice that things are looping fast enough that you can see two crescent moons at a time in the background art. And we've got the staff roll. So this is a, this is a cute game, but uh, it doesn't pull punches, especially when you get to the ship of spikes. This came out um, similar time to Liquid Kids, which is another Taito platformer. If you like that, you'll probably like this and vice versa. We'll have the last little uh, jingle. All right, let's enter our name. You leech points, you can get well over half a million, but 
This is a 1cc marathon, not a big puntos marathon. And that's it for this game. Next up, we will have me running uh, R-Type Leo.